Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Here we are. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys that are new, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Let's get into the readings. This is going to be the love mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your readings, I want to give every single one of you guys a huge cyber hug, sending you guys happy holidays. I know that the holidays are back to back. So uh, going into this new into this new cycle, being grateful and being very blessed for all of you. Um, and it is a time and a moment to not only be genuinely thankful for all the blessings that we have in our lives, but uh, to live another day is truly a blessing um, with everything that's going on around the world. Uh, we got to put more positive energy out there. Um, so wanting to take the time to wish every single one of you guys and your family members happy holidays. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you celebrate, if you don't, that's also okay. Sending you guys a cyber hug either way. All right, let's get into your readings. Here we go. We're going to look into Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, new love. Let's see how do they see you. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, view, and receive the messages loud and clearly. For all zodiac signs, beginning with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's look into their new love. How does their person see them at this point in time? All right, here we go, Aries. We have the King of Wands. Okay. See, how do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries at this point in time? How do they feel about Aries at this point in time? Okay, Knight of Swords. And what is their future actions towards Aries? Future actions towards Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, so as far as how they're seeing you at this point in time, they're seeing you definitely in your energy, Aries. They see you as a person that is very captivating, very charismatic. Um, I feel like there is a bit of uh, power play that's going on here. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a person that is a bit um, very much in their masculine energy, uh, not necessarily a good thing, um, because I do feel that they are easily triggered or easily intimidated. Um, how they feel about your knight of swords. They're definitely coming in hard. They're definitely pursuing you um, or could have initially been pursuing you very hard. And all of a sudden there is a feeling of like they're pulling away or perhaps they're not as aggressive in their pursuit for you only because we do have the four of pentacles here in their future actions. So I don't see any movement in regards to them taking uh, future actions towards you in regards to um, taking it to the next level in this connection. I'm going to be honest. I feel like you may be a bit more mature in their in your energy than they are. Uh, this is a person that perhaps has uh, difficulty um, when we talk about consistency, only because we have the Knight of Swords here. And uh, this is playing the energy of a person that will progressively actively pursue you. But once they feel comfortable or once they feel like you, they definitely have your attention, they kind of falter or pull back um, or they get easily distracted with other things. So again, I feel consistency is something that is going to be of a challenge here in this connection. And like I said, I do feel like uh, you may be a little bit more mature for their energy. Um I don't see them emotionally available, to be completely honest with you. So again, like I said, if you see them uh, being very hot and heavy in the very beginning, and then once it progresses, you feel like it starts to become a bit stagnant. My advice is not, you know, don't use that as a way of like, you know, they were going hard for me. Now it's maybe my time to put. No, I think that you need to be very watchful of their consistency, because consistency is a major thing, a major theme here in this situation. I don't see that they are mature, mature enough uh, to be consistent. And I think that that could be a bit of a red flag for you guys, okay? All right, now let's go to, let's look into Aries Old Flame. This could be your ex. This could be a person that you were dealing with in the past that you're no longer dealing with. 
Let's see how do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? Okay, put them back in here. How do they feel about Aries at this point in time? How do they feel about Aries at this point in time? All right, power. Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way? Spirits, why do they feel this way about Aries? All right, and what is their future actions? Thank you. All right, so in regards to your old flame or the person you were dealing with in the past, in regards to how do they feel about you, I feel that they went through a major transformation. For some of you guys, this could have been a situation where there was some type of culmination, some type of revel uh, revelation. Um, it could have ended a bit chaotic. Um, when we talk about you know, how they're feeling about you at this point in time, I feel like there is a lot of a lot of disconnection in this connection. Obviously, you, you're not dealing with them right now. But with the tower being here, I feel like there is news or some type, some type of information that they will be hearing or finding out about you that perhaps um, catches them a bit off guard or it comes to them as a surprise. It's giving me almost the energy of a person that could have swore or could have bet everything they got that you would sit there and wait for them, Aries. Um, and the tower is almost like whatever it is, whatever perception they had of you has been completely demolished. Uh, they are forced to see you in a very different way. And I think that progressively is a positive thing because the tower always symbolizes um, a lot of challenges, a lot of difficulties, a lot of being able to see clearly, right? And it having to get to the point of destruction to be able to see um, what was left or what was, uh, what, what pushed us, what propelled us to get to this point. Um, so it's almost like, you know, having a complete different perception of what they thought. And to me, it seems almost like some type of safety net. So your ex or the person you were dealing with in the past could have had a habit of progressively coming back into your life, feeling like you would always welcome them or like you would always do for them. Um, and something happened in this transition where you started being much more protective of your energy. You started even cutting the tie or the link if you were still dealing with them. Uh, one day you could have woke up and said, fuck this, I'm not dealing with this no more. Uh, Queen of Swords is coming up as how they or or why do they feel this way? And there is a feeling of <clears throat> being pushed out or being cut out completely. So that's what's devastating to them. But the reason for this is, again, Queen of Swords is always methodical, right? It's always in the mind. So it's no longer being ruled over your emotions or them no longer being able to play you. Um, based on pain with your emotions, because you were able to detach yourself and to really see things for what they really are and pull yourself away from that. Uh, their future actions, they're definitely coming back around or you will be hearing from them. Uh, again, I feel like it's more of a thing that has to do with uh, a bit of a you know toxic energy. It's the ex that always thought you would always be there or you would always welcome them back. Um, so I feel like their pursuit for that is solely based on ego, uh, because you hurt their feelings or because you hurt their ego. My advice is keep that door <laughs> completely closed. All right, now let's go to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Spirit guides give us clarity in regards to Taurus on moon rising Venus. Let's look into their new love. Let's see what's going on in their new love. What's coming to them or the person they may be dealing with at this point in time. Reveal to us, how do they see Taurus? How do they see Taurus at this point in time? How do they see Taurus? All right, here we go. How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? Okay, so what I'm getting right now, I'm, st I'm still shuffling. Okay, thank you. All right. And let's see their future actions. I'm getting messages already for you guys, okay? Just hang tight, Taurus. Future actions towards Taurus. Future actions towards Taurus. 
Nope. All right. Okay, so right off the bat, initially when I pulled the moon card, it was speaking to me about, and this is for specifically for you tours out there that recently met someone around Scorpio season. So you could have met them uh, two weeks ago or up until now. You may be dealing with someone new. If you haven't, don't be surprised if by the end of this month, um, you're going to be dealing with a new person that's coming in. And the reason I, I say that is because here in the moon card, uh, the scorpion is standing out a lot to me. And it's right at the crossroads where the where the um where the dirt is touching the water. So it's indicating to me uh coming to pathways or crossing paths with someone that is uh spanking you for you guys that is coming in. Um, and what they're telling me here is again, like I said, if you've been dealing with someone for the past two weeks or from now all the way to the end of November, there's a new person that comes into your life. It's going to be very crucial and very important uh, to pick up, or I should say to pay attention to the information that you're downloading, spiritual downloads that are going to be happening for you guys. Um, so it's almost like uh, connecting to your subconscious. It is intuitively picking up on an energy of you're being drawn to this person. You feel connected to them. Uh, there is um, almost this feeling like you've known this person for a while. And it's funny because I don't necessarily pick up that energy from the moon card, um, but I am really, really being drawn to the waters and the waters is intuition. It is emotion. So it's almost like you emotionally or vibrationally recognize this person. Um, again, pay attention to your intuition if you really feel like you're being very drawn to this person um, or like this person is, you know, uh, very captivating to you. Um, the reason for it is it, it's not, it's not a accident. I feel like there is a transition that's happening right now for you guys, for a lot of you tourists out there where it's almost like connecting to your destiny. It, it's walking towards your destiny. And what they're showing me here is again, like I said, crossing paths with the person that's meant to be in your life. Um, King of Wands as how they feel about you is very intense, passionate connection because the king is looking towards the moon and the moon is light in the darkness. It's almost like being very uh, energetically drawn to this person and they being very drawn to you. Now, in regards to the future actions, we do have the hanged man. Now, necessarily, this is a card that speaks to me about stillness or uh, not really taking action. Um, but in this reading, what's coming through for me is almost being in alignment because the hanged man does go and separate from the world and detach in order to be able to be Zen, in order to be able to be aligned. Um, and, and I feel that this, this energy of this, this connection with, you know, really being, uh, standing out for me here is the moon and, uh, the, enlightenment um the enlightenment color here for the hanged man so again i feel like there is almost the future actions towards you um it, it, it's almost a feeling like being on the same path being on the same journey uh for some of you guys if you are not dealing with anyone right now it's it, when this person comes into your life it's going to feel uh, like you guys are on the same journey, like you guys are either recently becoming more spiritually inclined or being more aware of manifestations or being more aware of energy. And I feel like it's almost a, a, a recognizing um, and being very drawn to them because it's almost like you guys are mirroring each other. Um, so that's definitely what I'm seeing for you guys. Okay, <clears throat> now let's go to... Let's look at the old flame for Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus? Old flame, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Taurus? Okay. Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way about Taurus? Yeah. 
and future actions. Future actions for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions. Okay, we have two cards. I will stay with them. Okay. So when we're talking about your ex-partner, person from the past, old flame, in regards to how they're feeling about you right now is the seven of swords. So this is indicating to me being completely trying the best they can. It's not that they are, it's that they're trying the best they can to be oblivious or to act as if they're oblivious to what's going on in your life. But the truth of the matter is the reason why there is almost this feeling of not fully trusting um, themselves is because they see you attaining or achieving or making moves that perhaps they didn't think you had it in you, Taurus. Um, it's almost like they feel like they cannot trust you. But the reason why they feel they cannot trust you is because they had this notion of you. Whereas the moment you pulled away, you started progressing, you started working on yourself and you started making things happen. Where at some point they probably felt like things would um, fall apart for you or like you would fall apart. Um, but the nine of cups here indicating why they feel this way is why they feel like they can't trust you or why they feel like you weren't honest with them is because they assumed that you would have a difficulty uh, being able to bounce back from the separation or the breakup. And the nine of cups is you being able to uh, experience or manifest or go into this cycle in your life where you're experiencing growth and advancement. And they're really questioning, um, they're really questioning if you even cared for them. It's almost like, it's almost the energy of, because their future actions is the eight of swords and the 10 of swords. They feel, I'm gonna be honest, with the seven of swords here, I feel like they're dealing with a lot of their karma or they're dealing with a lot of the shit that they put you through. And the fact that they see you like really glowing or, you know, a glow up that you went through or some something is going on in your life where there is a lot of abundance or you're experiencing happiness and they just cannot deal with that. They cannot bear that. So it's almost like you left them wondering I thought that Taurus loved me. I thought that Taurus cared for me. And all of a sudden we're not together and they're like doing really good. Did they even care? And it's not that you yourself were bad to them. It's that they were shitty and they're experiencing now the understanding or the karma of not having you in their lives and their life is going to shit or they're really dealing with a lot of difficulties where they feel like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I feel like this person is really in their feelings about the fact that you're doing good and they're not. Okay. Um, yeah. Not much to say after that. <laughs> you're really going through a glow up Taurus and they are not liking that. All right. Now let's go to Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. New love. How do they see Gemini? How do they see Gemini? How do they see Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Zenith? How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? Future actions towards Gemini? Future actions towards Gemini? Okay. So how they're seeing you right now is the five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles indicates to me, um, they've seen you go through it. They've seen you. I don't know if this is a person that initially, uh, you were friends with and, you know, you guys connected or you guys vibed a certain way. Um, but they know, or they've heard of the difficulties you've gone through. And I feel like, it's like they admire or they respect uh, the challenges you've been through or the difficulties you've been through. Or for some of you guys, it could be that you've, you know, they know, you know, where you're at at this point in your life and where you've been or what you've overcame. Because there's almost this feeling of like having major respect or admiration for you. 
Now, in regards to how they feel about you, Six of Wands is definitely um, seeing you as a person, like I said, that they admire, seeing you as a person that they respect, um, someone that you know, hasn't had it easy, but everything you've done, you've done wholeheartedly. And there's some type of, I'm feeling very drawn to like when you admire someone. Um, and I feel like this person could have admired you from a distance at some point. So you could have met, or you could be dealing with someone that you met on social media. Um, for some of you guys, it could be like online dating or something like that, where you guys have shared or communicated experiences and they themselves come from a very difficult upbringing. So they definitely admire uh, or respect um, the information you've shared or the information they know about you. Now, in regards to future actions, they're definitely walking towards wanting something. Uh, there is promise and there is opportunity here. Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like for some of you guys, you may feel like you're not ready. For some of you guys, you may be coming out of a long-term relationship um, and when I say coming out, doesn't necessarily mean just recently, it could be that you've been separated or broken up with someone for a couple of months, um, and you just got back into the dating scene, but I definitely do see promise here and opportunity. Um, if you actually work on healing yourself, Gemini, because five of pentacles does indicate to me a bit of a struggle. Um, but they are definitely wanting to see something come from this connection. Okay. All right, now let's look at Gemini's old flame. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about Gemini? Old flame for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. How do they feel about Gemini? All right, here we go. How do they, how do they see you? How do they feel about you? Future actions, okay. So in regards to how they see you, Gemini, seven of pentacles, they are definitely reminiscing about you or missing you for sure. There is a feeling of, um, there's a feeling of wanting to revisit the past. They, I feel like for some of you guys, it could be because of the holidays that they're experiencing this because we all know that, you know, holiday season is difficult uh, for a lot of people for a multitude of reasons, but one of the things that does really, and I think this is something that, you know, triggers everyone. Um, it's a time of reflection. It's a time of looking back and kind of taking inventory of what we've gone through for the year, what we've experienced, what we've lost. Um, but it's definitely giving, giving me the feeling of they're definitely missing you, Gemini, and they are definitely reminiscing about the past feeling like this was a missed opportunity or like they really screwed up. Uh, three of wands and future actions. I don't see them taking any action towards you. I don't see them. Um, if anything, maybe like a, a text, um, not a very uh, strong text with substance. It's more of a superficial type of text, like, hey, how have you been or something like that. But the reason for it is because they are definitely, you're weighing very heavy on their mind. And there is a bit of regret here that I'm feeling. But again, I don't see them taking any type of self-responsibility or even trying to fight for the connection. I feel like they want to play the easy route, which is just to send you a casual text to see if you would respond, to see if you would be uh, open to their energy, right? But I don't see them actually taking you know, forceful, not forceful, but to take actual uh, moves towards you. I feel like it's more of a reminiscing for some of them. Don't be surprised if you receive a text late at night, they've had a couple of drinks and that's the reason why they're messaging. It's almost like, you know, when people start to drink and they start to think and reminisce, uh, sometimes they can't really hold back or fight the desire to reach out. Um, and I think that if they do reach out, it's at a vulnerable state and where their defenses are down. So I'm definitely seeing some texts coming through. Um, like I said, don't be surprised if you get a text late at night, uh, they've been drinking and that's the reason why they're messaging you. All right, now let's go to Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
If you guys like these videos, definitely comment below, like, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. We have um, spell work coming up for the new years to prepare you guys for the new year. Uh, our continued lessons for Tarot Lessons 101. Um, and of course, tons of new readings coming through for you guys. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they see you? Let's look into your new love interest. How do they see you? How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And future actions towards Cancer. Future actions towards Cancer. All right. All right, Cancer. So definitely seeing you as uh, an opportunity. Uh, definitely seeing you as a blessing. Like their luck is in their favor or like their luck is finally turning around. Um, how they feel about you. They are definitely invested. They are definitely putting the effort or wanting to put the effort um, and their future actions is definitely taking actions towards you. I, I, I see for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single out there, I do see a person coming through for you. Uh, this could be a Taurus, this could be a Leo, or this could be a earth energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn type of energy. Um, but I definitely see them uh, almost like meeting or coming together in the workplace. So for some of you guys, you may be meeting a new person. It could be a new person that is either transferred to your location or a new hire. Uh, someone that is definitely, um, I see a connection here with work. It doesn't have to be with work, but I do see someone uh, new in the energy of the workplace. So for a lot of you guys, it could be that you yourself feel like your luck is finally uh, changing a bit or like you were at the right place at the right time when this person comes in. So uh, positive reading here for you guys. All right, now let's look into your old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right. Why do they feel that way? Future actions. Okay. All right. So I feel like they're extremely closed off. Um, it's almost like not wanting to accept what's happened or not wanting to take any type of responsibility for the separation or the breakup here. I see them very defensive. Um, why they feel this way, Queen of Swords, is like, this is the type of energy of like the petty ex. This is like, if you were the one that walked away or you were the one that broke it off, it's almost like they act very immature. It's like, I will, if we're done, I'm going to completely cut you off. I don't want to deal with you whatsoever. Like, but then they go and, 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 you know, they'd be talking about you to their friends and making you try to come off as like the villain in the, the villain in the movie, right? Um, and I see it very like a catty type of energy. So not necessarily a good thing. Um, their future actions is the strength card. Um, like I said, immature type of energy. I feel like uh, very defensive, very uh, wanting to villainize you. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be even rumors that come to you of the things that they've been saying or that they've been uh, pretty much uh, expressing to their friends. However, with the strength card here in their future actions, I feel like they may try to come back in, um, but it's more on a physical aspect. So it's like uh, texting you after they partied to want to link up type of shit. If I was you, I would definitely keep that door wide, not open, wide closed <laughs> or, or closed shut. Uh, you don't want that type of petty energy in your life, Cancer. All right, now let's go to Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Leos. We're going to look into new love. How do they see Leo? How do they see Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see them? How do they feel about Leos? How do they feel about Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Oh, future actions. Future actions. 
Okay, I'm gonna put them back in here. Future actions, Venus, I'm gonna raise Venus. Okay. So not sure what's going on here, Leo. If you guys have been having a bit of difficulty being able to be on the same page or communicating, I feel like both your egos are in the way. I feel like your egos are overpowering the connection or the relationship. Um, how they feel about you, they feel very defensive. Um, it's almost like a feeling of having to make myself look uh extremely like I'm gonna be honest I'm seeing like they're trying to portray something they're not so like I said if there has been lack of communication or like constant bickering I feel like the reason why is because they feel like you are in competition with them or they feel like they have to one-up you all the time and the reason for it is because you're coming across as um, very competitive or like trying to dominate them or trying to dominate the connection. Uh, and this is a person that, like I said, has a big ego. Um, I don't see you guys playing nice, to be honest. Um, it's like, if you did this to me, I will remind you or I will, you know, put you in your place type of thing. I don't like the energy, to be honest. And their future actions is the lovers, which indicates to me um, having to choose or having choices. So again, um, if you feel like at this point, it's just the constant bickering and fighting and it's just beginning in this connection, I would definitely just walk away from this. I don't see it uh, becoming great. I actually see it becoming extremely toxic. Um, because there's a lot of air energy here with the lovers uh, definitely falling into the temptation or falling into the temptation of a cycle, which could potentially become very toxic, okay? All right, now let's look to Old Flame for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Old Flame, how do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? Why do they feel that way? And what is their future actions? Leo's. Okay. All right, here we go. How they feel about you, the magician, why they feel that way. Seven of cups and their future actions. Okay. So... For some of you guys, your ex could definitely be working on trying to manifest you. Um, they could potentially be wanting to draw back your energy. If you've been feeling like your ex constantly crosses your mind or they come up randomly um, and they come on very strong, almost like you can feel their energy. I feel like they're really trying to manifest you into their life, whether they're aware of it or not, whether it's on a conscious or subconscious level. Um, why they feel this way, seven of cups, it's almost like, uh, the feeling of being able to have, um, and not being able to get what they want. So it, it seems to me, uh, that the reason why they're trying to pull you back or to manifest you in their life could be potentially because they feel, um, like you were the one person that got away or like you were the one that got away. Um, and the reason I say that is I feel like they could have overplayed their hand. I feel like they could have been entertaining multiple options or uh, they didn't have their they didn't have their priorities straight. And it's almost like to them, it was uh, like I had I had Leo. How could I have lost them? It's not I fucked up and I'm taking responsibility it's like they're being delusional about it. They're just seeing you as you were the one that got away. And because of that, they're trying to bring you back into their lives. Um, I feel like there is a bit of disconnect here and their future actions is the moon. I feel like they're not going to be completely honest or transparent with you. I would not be surprised if they're stalking you online or if they're looking at your social medias from fake accounts. All right. All right.
Now let's go to Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's look into their new love. How do they see? How do they see Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo and their future actions? Here we go. Oof. Interesting. Okay. There was, for some of you guys, you could have experienced a connection that came right after some type of upheaval in your life. For some of you guys, it could have almost felt like the universe brought this person into your life when your life was falling apart or like when you were going through a lot of major changes um, and you connected this to a uh, higher connection. It's almost like when life is really difficult or we're really going through it and then all of a sudden walks in a person, we kind of, there is some type of connection that you connected this to divinity or that you connected this to, like, it must be God bringing this person into my life. Um, they see you as a complete, a complete and utter different person that they've ever dealt with. They don't see you as what they're accustomed to. Um, and this could have been their perception as well. You could have walked in their life when their life was in shambles. Um, how they feel about you, they're still trying to, they're still trying to get to know you. I feel like they're very guarded, but the reason why they're very guarded is because this person has really gone through it. Um, and the future actions is the Empress. So the Empress is all about, obviously it's Venusian energy. It is definitely talking about uh, staying in your feminine energy. Even if you're a masculine, even if you're a male, doesn't matter. We all have female and masculine energy within us. I feel like you need to fully embrace the Empress type of energy, Virgo. I feel like for some of you guys, there, there is definitely some type of connection here in regards to either destined or fated. But what they're showing me here is like this person is extremely guarded only because you have difficulty showing your vulnerable side or showing the empathetic, loving nature of you. I feel like this person can't really put their finger on you. Um, it's almost like they are hoping to see your softer side, but instead... Um, they see you a bit judgy. So if you want to turn around the situation, which is very possible, um, try not to be so aggressive in how you express or how you vocalize certain things. Because I feel like you're coming off a bit um, detached, unemotional, non-emotional. And this person really, like I said, has really gone through it. I feel like they don't need a bitchy person in their life. Um, and I know you're not a bitchy person, Virgo. Um, I just think that sometimes you guys have difficulty showing your vulnerability. And it's something that's necessary in this connection if you're interested in pursuing this connection. All right, now let's go to your old flame, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, old flame. How do they feel about Virgo? Why do they feel that way about Virgo and their future actions for Virgo? Old flame, old flame. All right, let's get into it. Power again. You guys are definitely going through major transitions right now, Virgo. So your person from the past is definitely thinking about you. They're definitely wanting to re-enter your life. For some of you guys, you came out of a relationship and it was extremely difficult, extremely devastating when you met the new person because it's the same type of energy except this person that is from your past is definitely fuck boy, fuck girl energy they don't want anything that is stable. They, they're they not looking for anything. You know, this is like, this is the type of energy of like, um, 
you know, hey, let's hang out. What are you doing? You know, let let's let's go have a drink. Let let's chill. Even though they're very aware you guys broke up. Um it's like wanting to revisit the past, but it's only because of the desire or the physical connection. They are in their feelings about that, meaning that whenever life is not going good for them or when life is slowing down, that's when they have the time to sit there and reminisce about the past. And then they come back around and try to initiate something. Um, but again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, if you're dealing with someone new, and this new person um, seems to be challenging right now, like to be able to connect or be able to like vibe the way you guys were initially vibing. I feel that it's because of the X energy. And if you're feeling like you're losing interest in the new person because the X is coming back around or they're connecting with you or they're trying to communicate, do not fuck that up, Virgo. Because the tower, it's time to completely let go. It's time to let that shit burn and to start new, to start building a new connection, a new relationship, to start building on a more solid foundation. Um, the tower, it's like, how many times do you need to experience the tower moment to realize that this person is not for you? Pay attention, Virgo. All right, now let's go to Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, New Love. Oh, <laughs> Libra, okay. How do they feel about Libra and their future actions? How do they feel about Libra and, oh, and future actions? Wow. Very interesting, okay. All right, Libra. They are definitely seeing you as wifey or husband material. Uh, there is a distinct notion of understanding or recognizing the value within each other. This is male and female energy, meaning the yin and the yang. For some of you guys, the universe is aligning you to the person that is meant to be in your life. For some of you guys, it is uh, reconnection is what I'm hearing for others of you. It is the full manifestation of uh, your female or masculine uh, counterpart. Uh, the reason I say that is because when we get queens and kings of the same suit, um, it is definitely talking about your counterpart, the person, your life partner that's coming in. Future actions here is the nine of cups. So there is a wish fulfillment. For some of you guys, like I said, I did distinctly hear reconnection. Uh, revisiting something or revisiting a connection um, that is in some way, shape, or form connected to your past. But for the majority of you, this is meeting your lifetime partner, uh, meeting the person that you're going to marry, or meeting the person that you're going to start to build a solid foundation, um, very, very strong, fruitful type of abundant love healthy, nurturing type of love, mature type of love. So beautiful energy for you guys here. I'm definitely hearing um, for some of you guys, you could possibly meet this person from now all the way to January. January is what's really standing out for me here. So uh, beautiful energy here, Libra. All right, now let's go to Libra's old flame. Let's see what's going on with Libra's old flame. Give me the cards to represent how they feel about Libra, why they feel that way about Libra, and their future actions towards Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Old Flame, Old Flame, Libra. All right, here we go. Tower, a tower, Queen of Swords. Who was it? Uh, I think it was Virgo, the one that got these cards. Okay. So again, um, in regards to old flame, I feel like the tower was the destruction or the complete separation of something. I feel like this is, it comes hand in hand with the previous reading that I just did for the new love interest or new love for Libra. There was something that is coming back around. There is a revisiting or a reconnecting 
Um, it could have been that life could have separated you guys. It could have been that life struck something unexpected happened that kind of felt like it pulled you guys away um, only so that you guys can fully put effort and energy towards rebuilding yourself or reconnecting with yourself or finding yourself. Queen of Swords here as why they feel that way. The Queen of Swords is enlightenment, right? It is understanding, cutting through the bullshit, cutting through um, the lies, even deception. If there was deception, if there was other people outside of your relationship or your connection that highly affected this connection, it's cutting through that. Um, because if you can see here, the Queen of Swords is you can see, you know, the clouds and, and the clouds when it is in front of you could become extremely foggy, it could become difficult to be able to see, to be able to, um, and, and it's almost like they're settling or they're coming down, being able to, the tower, it's always destruction, it's rubble, it's ash in the air, not being able to fully see clear. And now it's like they're being able to see clearly or you're able to see clearly and to understand that this tower moment had to happen in order for you guys to either reconnect or break down what was being built to be able to start building on a more solid foundation. For a lot of you guys, I feel like there is reconnection that's happening and I feel like it's destined or fated only because we have here again, the tower and the 10 of pentacles as future actions, uh, reconnecting. This is reconnecting, rebuilding. This is thinking of longevity. This is making plans for the future. Um, powerful energy here that I'm sensing for a lot of you Libras. All right, now let's go to Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, New Love. Give us the, how they see Scorpio, how they feel about Scorpio and their future actions. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Strength card. Beautiful energy here, Scorpio. So you may be dealing with Earth energy here, or you may be dealing with a Leo as well. Um, in regards to how they see you, they're definitely seeing you as a person that is extremely abundant, a person that is very capable of making things happen. There is admiration here as the roses are really standing out for me. And they see you very nurturing. There is an aspect to you where um, they were able to capture, able to see, able to understand that you're very nurturing. And that's something that they highly respect and admire. When it comes to how they feel about you, they see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as this is a person I've been looking for. This is a person that I've always wanted. And their future actions is the strength card. So the strength card in itself is not progressively very, uh, it's not necessarily a very action oriented card. It is a powerful card. It is understanding uh, your nature. And I feel that that's very beautiful as well as very empowering because this person is willing to take the time to get to know your true nature, not to try to change you, but to understand you. And when we talk about relationships and when we talk about partnerships, that is extremely important and extremely crucial um, for any relationship to work, for them to fully take you as you are. And I definitely see that. I see that, like I said, that admiration, that wanting to understand your nature um, so that they can best support you or so that they can best show you their care and love for you as, as the relationship progresses. Beautiful energy here, Scorpio. Now let's look at the old flame here. Let's look at old flame for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Why do they feel that way about Scorpio? And give me their future actions, future actions. My lovelies, if you guys are enjoying these readings, definitely comment, like, subscribe. All right, here we go, Scorpio. Old flame. How do we feel about Scorpio? Why do they feel that way about Scorpio? And the future actions. Okay, here we go. Knight of Cups. 
Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands. All right. So they're definitely still emotionally invested in you, Scorpio. I feel like for some of you guys, um, you could be dealing with a person that perhaps has connected or started a relationship with someone, or they could have left the relationship or connection for someone else. Um, and it's almost like having this understanding, like I really fucked up. Um, they are wanting to come back into your life. They're wanting to restart this connection. Um, but I feel like they're guarded because they fear rejection or they fear um, that you're no longer interested. Um, especially for those of you guys that this person stepped out of the relationship and either stepped out being by with someone else or they rushed into a relationship because I feel like it could be a bit of an immature type of energy. Um, but I definitely do see that there is a wanting to revisit the connection. I would not be surprised if they hit you up or if you hear from them sometime from now to the beginning of December, as I do really see them wanting right now they're in their head about it, but I actually do see them taking action towards wanting to connect or wanting to reconnect with you, I should say. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's look into their new love. How do they see Sagittarius? How do they feel about Sagittarius? And what is their future actions towards Sagittarius? Let's see what's going on with my Saggies. New love, new love. One more. Okay, here we go. Knight of Swords, Judgment, Future Actions. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Not sure what the heck is going on here, but what I'm definitely hearing is I feel like there is outside interference. There is people that are either instigating in this connection or um, rumors may be flying around. I feel like initially it could this connection could be impacted because of that especially if you allowed or if you have allowed other people to get in your head about this connection, because I'm going to be honest, Knight of Swords with judgment, judgment speaks to me about a multitude of people or people surrounding our energy with the Knight of Swords, very aggressive or very cutthroat type of communication or rumors um, to try to diminish or to try to pull uh, you guys from dealing with each other. And I feel like it comes more from like an envy type of jealousy type of energy. Um, it could be that they see like outsiders see you as the prize or outsiders see the person of your inter interest as a prize. And they may be getting in that your interest um, mind because they are were either hoping to get some type of opportunity with you or vice versa. Keep in mind, it is a general reading, um, but their future actions is the sun. So what they're telling me here initially is that the relationship could start started off a bit rocky because other people are influencing the connection. And it's purely based on jealousy or envy um, because they definitely see someone in this connection as the prize, either you or them. Um, but the future actions towards you is the sun. So even though it, if you feel like it's been rocky or it's, you know, it progressively got rocky, it's going to dissipate. That type of energy is going to dissipate because their interest is really going to be sparked or they're going to decide that all this interference and all these people trying to, um, so openly affect the relationship that they become more stubborn in wanting to see it manifest into something stronger. So I definitely see it progressively getting better for you guys. Okay. All right. Now let's look into the old flame for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, old flame. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Why do they feel that way? And their future actions, Sagittarius. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. Old flame. All right. Old flame. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Ace of Wands. Oh, wow. All right. So they're definitely wanting to come back into your life, Sagittarius. They're definitely looking towards 
how am I able to open communication to show them that I really want them in my life? I'm going to be honest. I feel like for a lot of you guys um, that were dealing with a connection that you felt either very strongly about, or you felt like it could progressively become something and then it didn't. And there was a disappointment there. I feel that it's like, it's coming back around where they had to go through something to realize that sometimes, um, sometimes the people that we wish for or hope for can come into our lives, but we're not ready. And when we're not ready, it's okay to recognize I messed up. I didn't appreciate them and to try to rekindle, right? Because you've grown or you've stepped into the higher version of yourself. And that's what I see. I see them really, uh, seeing you or in the absence of you, they valued or understood your value and they're wanting to reconnect. They're wanting to prove to you that they want you. And the positive thing in this is that ace of pentacles and ace of wands, um, ace of pentacles is something that has the potential for something very long-term ace of wands is the desire and taking action to make it happen. Beautiful energy here. Although I'm not very fond of revisiting exes, I feel like this one or this time around, uh, Sagittarius, especially if you felt like this was a really good person, it just seemed like you guys can get on the same page. You guys are getting the opportunity to reconnect. All right, now let's move on to Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's look into their new love. How do they see Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn and the future actions of Capricorn? or towards Capricorn, sorry, here we go. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You love Capricorn. All right, here we go. Five of cups, four of pentacles, and the six of cups, okay. So someone could progressively have or is currently going through some type of mourning or some type of loss. For some of you guys, you could have connected with someone uh, that recently there's not been much communication or much movement. And though you take it as like a letdown or some type of disappointment, um, I feel like it's really life for them. I feel like they are really going through it, not necessarily with themselves, but this has more to do with family dynamic is what I'm sensing. So for some of you guys, again, like I said, if out of nowhere, they start to pop off or not pop off, but pop in again and message you or try to connect with you, um, if they explain or there's some type of communication about a loss, a mourning, or some type of disappointment that is in connection with family, uh, it is something to be trusted because they are really going through it and they're trying to be there for either a specific person from their family or the family dynamic. Um, how they feel right now, I feel like this is too much for them or they're feeling like a relationship would really complicate things only because there is a dynamic, like I said, within the family um, that just makes it a tad difficult. It What I'm hearing is more like a lot of their family or a lot of their friends and colleagues or people that surround them, they rely a lot on them. And I feel like right now it's like one thing after the other so there is a feeling of overwhelmingness here all right now let's look to the old flame of capricorn old flame of capricorn how do they feel about capricorn why do they feel that way and their future actions towards capricorn capricorn sun moon rising venus Capricorn, Venus. There we go. Tower, Queen of Wands. I mean, King of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay. All right, Capricorn. You may actually be. I feel like you're going to be getting some news, not necessarily something that you were expecting. Obviously, this is a person that is no longer with you or that you're no longer dealing with. But I do feel like it's definitely something very sudden. And for a lot of you guys, especially if you were dealing with a fire energy, a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries person, um, 
you may get news or you may find out that this person has decided to uh, be very quick in deciding either moving in or actually deciding to move in or commit to a relationship that kind of blindsided you because you didn't even know that they were maybe dealing with someone. Um, I feel like the, the, the future action here is um, the realization of that. So again, I'm going to be honest with you, Capricorns, if an ex started dating or started committing to someone, they come back around and they're trying to contact you or they're trying to, you know, um, communicate with you or whatnot or deal with you. Um, and you're aware of this, like, don't fall into the, don't fall into that line where, oh yeah, you know, we were together, but we're not because it's not working out. Like, don't allow them to put you in the category of keeping the cabinet open to revisit, because I feel like they would just be taking advantage of the situation. They are in fact making plans if they're not already um, dealing with them or moving in with them or committing to them in a higher level. So don't believe that shit if they come back around and they're like, you know what, we broke up, it's not working out. Um because it's going to be like, it's going to blindside you. And I feel like they know exactly what they're doing. Um, and you don't want to be put in that position of feeling like they deceived you when you clearly were aware of it. Um, and I know it gets complicated, which is why we're giving you a heads up. <laughs> All right. Now let's go to Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, New Love. How do they see Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius and their future actions? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Knight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Seven of Cups. Okay. So I don't necessarily see any type of emotion here. I'm going to be honest. I feel like you guys could have potentially rushed into a connection or it felt like the person that was pursuing you was like trying to pressure you or trying to rush you. Um, and the reason is because this person thrives off of the chase. And once they see that it's being, you know, that the energy is being reciprocated or that they know you're interested in, in them, they start to entertain other possibilities. It's giving me fuck boy, fuck girl type of energy. Don't waste your time, Aquarius. If you feel like this person pulls away uh and then all of a sudden like love bombs you or like completely blows up your phone um and then it's almost a feeling of like being upset because you don't respond to them right away but then they go MIA for a couple of days like it's immature type of energy and they are definitely entertaining other options do not waste your time in that all right, now let's look at the old flame of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Aquarius? Why do they feel that way? And the future actions toward Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more, old flame. Okay, here we go. Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. All right. They're definitely wanting to come back into your life, Aquarius. I feel like, especially if you were dealing with someone that has a child or you had a child with someone, there is almost this, uh, again, I feel like the celebrations and the holidays bring this up a lot in people, the reminiscing, the wanting to revisit, um, the regret and remorse. And what I'm seeing here is almost like, um, almost like trying to keep it cordial because of the connection or because the children that are involved. And in fact, there is children that are involved. If you don't have children, this is definitely them understanding the value uh, that you brought to their lives. And almost like they've been really struggling or being challenged and understanding that you brought a lot of blessings into their life, uh, how they feel or why they feel this way for once they felt the most like they've had the most stability or like they had the most uh, harmony when you were in their lives. So it's almost like, you know, when people start to take us for granted and the moment they realize you're no longer there, you're no longer, you know, being on top of things for them that perhaps they got accustomed that you would take care of. It's like they are being challenged and they have no other choice but to step up. 
Um, and it's the realization of that. I definitely do see communication sometime from now all the way to seven days from now. I do see them actually reaching out. If there is children involved, you may notice that there is a almost like a more constant communication as the children are an excuse only for them to try to communicate or connect with you because I definitely still see them not completely moved on. All right, now let's go to Pisces. Last but not least, let's see what's going on in their new love. How do they see Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they feel about Pisces? And what is the future actions of for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, new love? All right, here we go. We have the King of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. All right. So they definitely see you as a person that they're wanting to uh, stabilize or create some type of stability in this connection. Um, I definitely see them a bit overly possessive or a bit obsessive even. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be feeling a bit restricted. I feel like that's if you're not already experiencing a bit of like arguments and like not being on the same page because it's almost what I'm hearing is like they are becoming a burden. So again, if you are dealing with a person that may be coming on a bit too strong, my advice is either pull back a bit or let them know that it is, you know, trust is everything in a relationship. And if they cannot trust you, it's not necessarily because of you. If you haven't done nothing to them, it could be that they need to work on themselves to be able to be more in a healthy relationship, okay? Now let's look at old flame for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about Pisces? Why do they feel that way about Pisces and the future actions for its Pisces? Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna, too many cards. Let me pull them back in. Old flame. How do they feel? Whoops. How do they feel about Pisces? Why do they feel that way about Pisces and the future actions towards Pisces? There you go. All right. All right, Pisces. I see the Six of Swords. Um, an indication definitely of, I feel like they are working or have been working towards releasing themselves or releasing the connection with you. I do see that they've moved on. Um, with the three of cups here in the why they feel this way, it's they are surrounded or they're being surrounded by, you know, people that are really could be in their inner circle, uh, could be a, a bit of parting too much. Um, but it can also represent being supported by those around them. So I feel like if and if for some of you guys, it could have been an ex that didn't really want to go away. Um, if you've noticed, like they're not really you know, trying to get your attention anymore and they're doing things out there. It's not that they're trying to make you jealous or something like that. If they're doing it on social media, it's because they're genuinely working on their healing and they've realized that it's time to move on. So the door has been closed in this situation, Pisces. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. I hope you guys have the best of holidays, wishing every single one of you guys the very best. We will see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.